Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to St. Bartholomew's Episcopal Church. My name is Angela Shepherd, and I am the rector or senior pastor here. And my heart is full looking out to see all of you who have gathered for what is going to be an excellent, a most excellent celebration of Juneteenth as we have folks who are returning, folks who are new, so we know that the Holy Spirit is working. This is the 158th anniversary of Juneteenth, 158 years ago tomorrow. We recall that folks in Texas heard that they were free. But as we can see and read today, freedom is not free and freedom does not exist across the land. So we still have much work to do. I attended a, uh, was an online webinar last week that talked about from emancipation to incarceration. And we know the numbers of people who are incarcerated. So things have shifted. So again, we have work to do to end the streamline that goes to incarceration so that people can be free. So you are free to be here today and we're glad that you chose to be here. But let this not be simply a time that we enjoy the music, but that we be inspired to go out and do the work that is ours to do at this juncture in time to make a difference. So that God's dream for humanity to live with love, peace, justice, and equity will begin to come to fruition for all people. Let us pray. Holy and gracious God, we thank you. We thank you for this beautiful day, beautiful weather, allowing us to gather in this space. We thank you for the musicians who are here and the gifts you have bestowed upon them. We thank you for the time that everyone has dedicated to be here. We count on your Holy Spirit to journey within each of us now and in the future. Help us to be instruments of your peace. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.
Hello everyone, my name is Steven Frederick and I'm the music director here and it is my pleasure to see so many of you here, uh, so many smiling faces and uh, enjoying music together. Um, there are several hymns out of the Levis hymnal that we are all going to sing together. So if you look under the chair in front of you, you'll see two hymnals. We're, we're going to be using this one today that's red and um, any of the in the program, you'll see there's, uh, I think, four or five hymns that we're going to sing together today. And um, when I stand the choir on these, I'll stand you all too, and then we just get to sing all together. Um, so the first one we're going to do is Wade in the Water, which I think is 143. Okay, very good. All right, so everyone, let's, let's stand up and sing together.
Thank you, everyone. That was Kimberly Waters. She is our newest um, staff singer here. She joined us just after Easter, and we're so happy to have her with us um, singing and playing flute. Um, and the next piece on the program, you're going to either, you can turn your body towards the back or you can just listen. Um, but there's three pieces today that are going to involve the organ. This one uh, has the soloist uh, Ralph Jones, uh, who played the saxophone in the first piece. He and I are going to play something together, um, organ and saxophone. And then later in the program, I'm going to play two more things in the organ. Um, but here is Ralph with Nobody Knows the Trouble I've Seen.
Now I would like to welcome Phyllis and Lilia. Song rise to thee. <laughs> welcome. This is for you, Pastor. This is her favorite, one of her favorite songs, even though it is not a African American spiritual. So we just wanted to, Lelia to just raise this song in honor. Could you come forward for me?
I would, Ralph, would you tell us, tell the audience all about this next piece? Ralph has kind of come up with this piece, a very interesting combination of things. Uh, Ralph, I'll let you tell everyone all about it. Thank you. Thank you very much. I, uh, I'm very honored to in, invite Mr. I'm, I'm going to say Baba Ariyame Toure, writer, director, poet, actor, cultural worker, I'm going to say cultural warrior as well, Harlem, 
Bed-Stuy, South Bronx, nurtured, educated, Malcolm King College, C-U-N-Y, at Hunter College, in New York, of course, and UCLA, that is, University at the corner of Lenox Avenue in Harlem, New York City. Still learning the traditions and culture of the Deep South, Atlanta, and, and the world. Baba Arayame Ture. This is a composition that um, one day we have a, uh, a small group of, uh, I call them uh, seekers, or we meet every Saturday at 9.30 and we talk about a variety of things uh, on Zoom. And one day I was sitting at the piano and I was playing um, uh, Love Supreme by John Coltrane, which I'm sure all of you know about. And you know, sometimes we think of things, well, what if I do this? What if I put that here? And we came up with a composition, uh, a supreme love, a supreme love. And that's what we're going to present for you today with the words of Baba Arayame Tore. Thank you. Is that a tech person? Can you hear it? Yeah, just, just talk loud. Just talk loud. Hmm. <laughs> 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 Light descending, light descending, only to reemerge long after midnight, appearing as a praise song drifting through an open window, much like nocturnal mist dancing with our dreams, raising new thoughts of supreme love. There has been a thousand passions building up to this moment, but just as quickly, Fading, fading, fading. As cooling mist deferring to morning bliss. But this dance, this dance was different. Holding the promise of an awakening. Cast as the first light forged in ancient memory as supreme love. Supreme love. Because from the beginning, there was you, there was I, there was we, there was supreme love. 
Speaking through renewed gardens, tasting like the luscious of tropical fruit, abundantly dispersed as seeds and raised mounds of new thought and promise, revealing itself only to the anointed. The anointed. Those seekers of peace. Blending and merging with ancient rhythms made anew through dance. The promise of movement in the next chapter of dream encounters. The anointed, those seekers of peace. Dream skating the canvas of our inner selves, scattering patterns of shadow, light, and color to be reorganized as supreme love. The anointed, those seekers of peace, giving voice to the storytellers, the poets, the myth makers, the shape shifters of our imagination as dispensers of literary science, crafting a path for our ancient future as we experience this, this supreme love. The anointed, those seekers of peace as music makers, Conjuring spirits from a still simmering pot of rhythmic stew with just a pinch of syncopation saved from a starter batch of blue spoon from grandma's hand as supreme love. The anointed, those seekers of peace pouring libations to ancestors, enhancing memory and the meaning of our so sacred truth, reestablishing what it means to be human through supreme love, supreme love. The anointed, those seekers of truth as first teachers for nine months weaving threads of cosmic wisdom and energy into new birth, arriving with messages of supreme love, supreme love. The anointed, those seekers of truth, unlocking new expressions of spiritual science, as emissaries of the new age, cast as prophets of the Most High. The anointed, those seekers of truth, as time travelers, launched on missions of understanding the economy of placing old wine in new bottles. The anointed, those seekers of truth, Rewriting trends in social technology, replacing painful dreams with aspirations of becoming, having the audacity to proclaim that we are the Alpha and Omega of supreme love. Supreme love. The anointed, those seekers of truth, moving our presence from the wings, taking the stage to join Pharaoh and Leontopolis, spreading peace and happiness throughout the world in supreme love, in supreme love.
sing Steal Away. It's 103.
Lovely. You all are wonderful singers. It's so great to just be able to stop playing and all the music continues. Um, we've got a few more things on the program, and I just want to speak to you a little bit about the next piece I'm going to play. Uh, it's by a composer, Florence Price, and she has been really uh, having a renaissance of her music in the last few years. Uh, she's an African-American composer who was born in 1887, and then she lived until 1953. And um, she was from Little Rock, and then she went to the New England Conservatory, and then she was actually here in Atlanta for a brief period. She was the head of the music department at Clark University, um, 1910, for a couple years. And then if I get the story right, she basically found a husband. Um, while well, she was here and then left Atlanta and then spent most of her later life in Chicago where she computed, uh, composed um, symphonies, organ music, piano music, and um, I've really enjoyed learning several of her organ pieces. Um, I haven't learned any of her piano music yet. And one day I was in the car, just, you know, had their classical station on, and they were all of a sudden playing one of her symphonies. And I was like, oh, wow, uh, this is great. So anyway, this uh, piece that I'm about to play, it's a toccata from a suite with four different movements. I'm just going to play the, the toccata. I um, hope you enjoy it.
All right. As the choir gets in place for the last piece, I just want to thank all of our performers that we have with us today. Um, Cookie, our drummer, we've had, uh, this is our third, my third time working with Cookie. She's just wonderful. Um, thank you. And Ralph on the saxophone. Thank you. So, Cookie and Ralph have, have come, we had in January, we had a service for um, racial justice and then recently we had another service for environmental justice and we did some kind of more contemporary music and stuff and it was really fun to welcome both of you here. Um, Arayama, thank you for coming today. And And Phyllis and Lilia of Sunrise Today. Thank you so much. Phyllis and Lilia just came here, I don't know, about two years ago and made a recording. And then um, ever since, we've been like, oh, come sing for this, come sing for that. So it's wonderful to have you at our second Juneteenth concert. Yes. And then in the choir here, we've got Kimberly, who played the flute and who sang for us. And then I'm just gonna, I'm gonna say, Unida has made her debut with the St. Bartholomew's Choir today. Thank you. And then thank you to Patty here who has got some flowers, some of which have come from her very own garden. Um, thank you, Patty. So we just have a little bouquet for all of our, our soloists. Um, so we've got here. Thank you. All right, now we are ready to sing our final song for you. It is Oh, What a Beautiful City.
Thank you all so much. What a joy to, to share all this music in honor of Juneteenth today. Um, thank you so much. Just one final note, as, as you're on your way out, you'll see some ushers with a little donation basket. If you feel inclined to leave a donation in there to the benefit of the music department here, we would gladly appreciate it. Thank you all very much for spending your afternoon with us and have a wonderful day.